It has a tail like a monkey. A pouch like a kangaroo. Eyes like a chameleon. And a horse-like head. The ancient Europeans believed it transported souls of dead sailors to the underworld. And its Latin name means horse-like sea monster. It's the enigmatic and elusive seahorse. This strange and mysterious animal of the deep blue is sought out by tenacious divers. Some are lucky, but many will never see one. Because they're so difficult to find, a visit to Ushaga Marine World is necessary to glimpse into the secret lives of these mysterious creatures. The most renowned seahorse along the South African coast is the Neisner seahorse, with their green to brown and often spotty color variations. As the name suggests, this 12 centimeter long creature lives in estuaries along the famous garden route. But there are others too. The yellow and lined seahorses are bigger and reach a length of 15 centimeters. And then there is the tall, thin cousin, the pipefish. Seahorses' bodies are formed from a series of bony plates arranged in rings from snout to tail. They don't have scales, rather a thin skin stretches over the exoskeleton. Although they don't look the part, seahorses are also fish. And like other fish, swim bladders control their depth range in the water. But they are the slow coaches of the ocean reaching a top speed of just 1.5 meters per hour. Prehensile tails hook onto coral and sea grass as an anchor, since their small fins are no match against the currents. As a result, they are usually found in estuaries and other calm places. When they do want to move from one area to the next, a dorsal fin propels them slowly in a chosen direction and the fins behind their eyes are used to steer. Like other conventional fish, seahorses breed through gills, sucking water through their snouts and extracting oxygen as the water passes over. They hunt by sight. With eyes moving independently, it gives them the advantage over their minute crustacean prey. Lacking teeth, they suck up their prey quickly through their tubular snouts. And a very inefficient digestive system means that they have to eat constantly. To tell the difference between males and females when he is not carrying the eggs, one has to look at their bellies. With females, the lower abdomen joins the tail at a sharp angle and the anal fin is often slightly larger. Males have a much more sloped pelvis and it tapers gradually to the tail. This is where the brood pouch is, for when the male, uncharacteristically of other animals, assumes the duty of carrying his mate's eggs. These fragile little creatures only live a few short years, a lifespan reduced even further when removed from the wild by unscrupulous collectors. There are 40 odd species of seahorse known to man and new species are continually being added to the list as scientists discover others hidden in the vast underwater treasure chest. Certainly a unique biodiversity paragon worth defending. <laughs>